War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war... War never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one ever leaves. Let's see, are you a boy or a girl? It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up.
You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're just James? A... Catherine? James? Catherine! She's in cardiac are... arrest. Start compression. Things... Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay? You one we need a doctor, not a dead man. This one's on the house. Fail to meet my expectations. Now and don't look straight into the light now. James and his cheerly nice chair. Decorations. May your future be bright. Right. Boys, hey. this place will feel just like Come home. on over here, son. Come on. Walk the deck. You can make it. Over here. You can make it. Come to daddy. Just a little further. Come to daddy. You can do it. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. Quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amado wants to play. These experiments don't be a damn fool. We experiment to prepare. We prepare for survival. Of course, I Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. 
I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you're Congratulations, mother. young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're such a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? Okay, okay. One last question. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14, and with no missing pages. Yeah, I found this in a box of my father's old things. Can you believe it? Kind of weird to think about him reading comic books. I guess I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday! Oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Nice party. Hey, you having a nice time? Enjoying Attention, yourself. everyone! It's How's time it going, to pal? cut the cake! Happy birthday! Andy, wait! Nice pit boy. What is that? One of the 3,000 AMR rules? Oh, no! What a piece of junk! I, uh, what do you I think you should call it? It's gotta be totally silly. silly. Hey, how about the vault dweller? Get it? Who wants to go around all day? Being called a vault dweller. Sometimes I think you really are as dumb as you look. I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you. Was Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone. Are you having Come a on, nice Wally. time? Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the... You always have good ideas. This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Yeah, I got How's one. How's it going, pal? The Mackers. Super cool, Having right? a... Listen. How do you like that Pip-Boy, son? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. Once you have finished being a good host, I have something I want to show you. But I'm not sure anyone else I can't believe you're ten already. I'm hungry, and that stupid rope... Give me that sweet roll you got from Old Lady Palm. Don't you talk about my mom, you little punk. 
I can't oh, believe enjoy you are ten speeches. already. Your mother would have been proud of you. Should have just given me the. Now go on and enjoy your party. Butch, what do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. Stanley, I know you right, were with the water He didn't hurt you, did he? Everything's fine. I hope. Oh, sure. Nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got her all fixed up again last night. Good as new. I wasn't worried. I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? That's fine, son. I'm glad to see you're not letting Butch bully you. He's going to be a handful in a few years if his mother doesn't take him in hand. Well, no harm done then. Why don't you get back to enjoying your party? You can fix anything, right? Anyway, I'm glad you could make it. What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. Come on, don't ask me that. You know he would if I asked, but where would that leave me? It's bad enough being the overseer's daughter. If everyone knew I ran to daddy every time I had a problem, nobody would ever talk to me again. We'll think of some way to get Butch back, I promise. But I'm not getting my father involved. Look, Butch, how are you enjoying the party? party? You guys can do better than that. that. Jonas? Good name. Easy now. Hey, Doc. Well, well, sit down here. Really? Thanks. Which I'll send him right down. Your... Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Splendid job. Hello, Officer Gomez. I'm glad you could make it. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. Oh, boys will be boys, won't they? Just can't wait to see your present, is that it? Well, let's not keep you waiting any longer. I think you're going to like it. It's a poem written by me just for you. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. I'm glad to be here. I think it's important to keep in touch with the young people, you know, as part of my job. Plus, well, I like parties. Sounds like everybody's having a good time in there. Sounds like everybody's having a good time in there. An Another youth well on his way to become a productive part of the What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Oh, I see. Now that you're Ted, you're all business. Well then, mister, we'd better get to it. Happy birthday, by the way. Hang on one more minute. I think I hear someone coming. Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We sure can't, unless we want the Overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. Maybe so. But you still better not let the Overseer see you carrying that around. That's a real gun, as far as he's... What's gotten into you? Jonas worked hard on your present. The least you could do is be polite for five minutes.
Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot any time you want. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to find... Go on, shoot something for me. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one less rad roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile. Boys and girls have different parts. What is your problem right? anyway? So, I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That like, I get any great. kind of special Tell treatment. Me. Revelation 21-6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. No, you are not. Really. When I started studying medicine, one of the first things I learned was how to spot a kid playing sick to get out of taking a test. You'll do fine. It's not so bad. Everyone has to take it when they're 16. I had to, you have to, and so does everyone else. And most everyone makes it through without a scratch. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Take care, son. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Watch where you're swinging that, will you? That wasn't very nice. Come on, stop that! Come on, pal. You're fine, and you know it. You're a perfect... So... Take care, sir. Morning, Jonas. Hey, hey, hey. Morning, Doc. How's things? Have you had a chance to look over these results? I was just going to... <laughs> you better stay away. I don't want you to catch what I've got. Come on, stop that! They cut it out! Let me know if they're around. Gah! Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes! Back I off. can show you a real I got a live one here! Stop it! Oh. Leave him alone! This time the lesson will stick! Hit him again! Uh, Hit him again! This isn't solving anything! Come on! Hit him again! Hide it up! Uh, stop it! Uh, give him another one! Come on, tunnel snakes. This little bitch isn't Don't worth our time. mess with the tunnel snakes. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. It's gonna be fun tunnel paying you rule. back for that. Fine, let's go. Don't push your luck, punk. Don't mess with the tunnel snakes. Hey, Thanks for getting rid of them. <laughs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Easy. what's new? Oh, not much. Our heater's on the fritz again. You're kidding me. Didn't you just get new parts for it last week? Yeah, sure did. But the thing is so old, my grandpa had trouble with it when he was my age. Well, I hope it's working again soon for you. Thanks. Say, 
want to grab some lunch later on? Sure thing. How about we head down? Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Didn't work on your dad either, did it? Now, unless you have something else you want to discuss. We'll take your seat so we can get started. Back off. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate but the doctor stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another Vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. We don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate 
or to pray as the situation warrants. Looks like the diner is going to get a new fry cook. I'll just say this once. Hold the mustard. Yes, um, it's refreshing to see such uh, youthful enthusiasm. Good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad things turned out so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results half as satisfying. Get out of my face. Hey. Thank God that's over. Yo, I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. Anything is possible, even an A. That is the promise. He is safe now. Is he going to get back to work? Selfish and insolent. Wake up! Come on, wake up! I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! Don't be a smart mouth. This is serious. My father's men are looking for you. They've already killed Jonas. You've got to get out of here. It's your dad. He's left the vault. My father thinks Jonas helped him escape. So he had his men. My God, they killed him. They just beat him and beat him and wouldn't stop. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend, but we've got to... Not this time. My father, he's not listening to anybody. If he even finds out... But that doesn't matter. I can take care of myself. It's you he... And I have a plan. I know how to get you out of the vault. Well, I, I think it'll work. Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. I hope you're joking. Even with that pistol, I don't think you'll win a fight against the whole security force. Okay. I'll try to meet you at the exit. Good luck! I'll meet you at the vault. I'll do it if I can, but don't wait for me. There he is. Hold it right there. Drive any more roast. There's more where that came from. Get it off. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roast! No, I can't go back in there. It's... it's dark. And there's rat roaches. No, I mean... it's not the dark. It's the rat roaches. I... I can't... You gotta help me. She's not gonna last much longer in there. Can't you hear her screaming? No, no, I'm not going back in there. I can't. 
Oh my god, thank you. I didn't know what to do. You're the best. Butchie, help me! man hey i know it isn't much but i want you to have my tunnel snakes jacket go ahead take it come on sit down and have a drink with me You're the one everybody's looking for. Me and Andy were in a tight spot there, ain't no mistake. Good thing he loves toasting roaches so much. I'm not sure how I could help. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doc. It's me. Tom wouldn't Tom listen Holmes. to me. Hey.
Gotcha you now. What's the matter? Huh? You can't feel the sight of your own blood? Let me try again. There. there he is. That's it. That's it. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. Blood. I always knew this. Help me! Your father was a traitor and a coward. God, what have you done? You killed him! Why would you kill my father? Come on, stop him.
good. You're leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you... You didn't have to kill him! So you say. Maybe one day I'll be able to forgive you. But not now. I hope you never have to find out what it's like to see your father killed right in front of you. No! Don't listen to me. Just... just go! Find your father! I have to go bury mine! No, I can't. Not with you, not now. You'd better leave before I change my mind about letting you go. Gotcha now!